Alia and today we're going to make more cookies together. It's the holiday season so in the past few weeks I've been showing you how to make super easy cookie recipes and some of them are no-bake cookies. Um, so if you haven't seen the uh, Nutella chocolate truffles, I encourage you to watch that video. It's super yummy yummy uh, truffles and super easy to make. I also showed you how to make no-bake fakas which is a modern touch of the traditional Moroccan fakas and today I'm going to show you a three ingredient uh, recipe that will make people say wow. Um, it's basically a chocolate coconut balls and you can never go wrong with chocolate and coconut. And so if you like all my recipes, you know what to do, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is click the subscribe button above uh, on the YouTube videos here. Uh, this way you never miss any of my upcoming videos. And also if you're looking for the written recipes, you know where to find them. Just go to my website, I have all the written recipes there and you can print the recipe and share it with your friends so you don't have to write the recipe while I'm uh, talking to you here in the video. Just go to my website. Okay? So let's start! The first ingredient we're going to use is of course coconut and I'm using a uh, natural and sweetened shredded coconut. So this is natural coconut and it's not sweetened so it doesn't have sugar on it. Um, there are some coconuts that have sugar on it, you don't want those, you want the natural and sweetened shredded coconut. And sometimes in the supermarket you find different sizes, medium shredded uh, or fine shredded. If you cannot find fine shredded, just take the shredded you want and put it in your uh, food processor and mix it and until it becomes fine like this. All we have to do is mix the sweetened condensed milk, just the normal sweetened condensed milk, with the coconut. And all we have to do now is add the melted chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate, um, it's 60% uh, uh, cocoa content. As I always tell you, the higher the cocoa content, the bitter is the chocolate. Um, and the lower the cocoa content, the more sugary it is. So ideally use minimum 55% cocoa content. Uh, you can also use milk chocolate if you prefer milk chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And that's it. So mix these three ingredients together. Yum yum. At one point when it becomes harder to mix with the spatula, just use your hands and make sure you have clean hands and make sure all the ingredients are well incorporated. The mixture is supposed to be a little bit sticky, but if it's too sticky, add a little bit of uh, shredded coconut. So I'm just going to add a little bit here, just um, to make sure I have the right consistency. See, this is the consistency we're looking for. Um, I can actually form a ball with the mixture. And that's what we need. So if it's too liquidy, add a little bit of coconut. And that's it. All we have to do now is cover it and place it in the fridge. And I'm going to taste a bit. Oh my god, this is so good. So let's cover it and put it in the fridge for now for one hour before we roll them into balls. The last step is to shape the chocolate coconut balls. So basically now that the, um, our mixture has been in the fridge, it's easily um, malleable and you can make a ball out of it, like this. And you can roll the ball in anything you want. So you have choices of um, chocolate vermicelli or chopped almonds. And I'm using uh, dry roasted and salted almonds because it has a nice crunch on it. Or also roll them in the coconut um, that we used. So whatever leftover of coconut you have. So I'm going to roll this one in coconut. And then place it in a little paper cup. And that's it. So I'm going to roll another one um, and make sure that the balls are like the size of a walnut, not too big and not too small uh, because you don't want to have like a big chunk of them at once. And this one I'm going to roll in almonds. Yay! Here's a, an almond ball. And then the third one I'm going to roll in the chocolate vermicelli. I love chocolate vermicelli. They're so cute and they remind me of my childhood. And here's a chocolate vermicelli ball. And that's it! So let's continue rolling the balls. We finished rolling the chocolate coconut balls. So now all we have to do is place them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before serving. And that's it! 
My sweets are ready. Now my favorite part is of course to taste them for you. So which one should I take? I'm going to take the coconut fall one. I like them when they're rolled in the coconut. Okay. Time of truth. Mmm. 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 Look at the inside. No, oh, it's so simple. It's so yummy. It's just coconut and chocolate and sweetness and it's chewy and soft and not many people are going to know what's inside because you can't really tell what's inside but, but it tastes so amazing mm, it brings me to my childhood because my grandmother used to make these for me and they're so simple so I hope you enjoy them and I hope you make them with your friends and families and kids kids love to make these kind of things and um, that's it, see you next time, bella appetit! Mmm, mmm!